let's get started then. So this is the OKD Working Group Documentation Subgroup meeting for February 22nd of 2022. Uh, we've solidified our agenda pretty much, so let's jump right into it. Uh, code of Conduct. Um, it's ready to publish. Um, I think we just wanted to have a, a contact email. Yeah. And so I think we're, you provided that, Diane, right, to Brian? Yep. So, okay. Yep. So, Brian, do you, can you make a, a pull request with the content and we can merge it? Or what do you, what do you have to do to get that up there? Um, I can I can do it. I'm just trying to work out where should it go because there was a there, there is looks like there have there has been a pull request made to the docs which is three seven three eight three on the OpenShift docs docs. Um, there's a link in the if, if you go to the agenda, there is a mm -hmm. link to that issue if you follow that. Follow the trail. Um, and, and Mike it looks like Michael Burke did that. So I, I wasn't sure where where we want it to be published because it looks like this is going to the the product docs, the docs.okd.io site. So I think that was just he did that as he was working on it so that he could create an issue. So I think this wants to go to the main website. So open yeah, where that. yeah, where it says to do under code of contact on the um, okd.io site? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, well, what I, what I didn't know was, was, was I pointing into the docs or am I publishing it on the OKD? No, publish it on the site. Make it a nice looking page. I think, yep. is that the general um, okay. consensus? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's but, the expectation. But that is easy to do. And I'm just checking, have I got the very latest version then? And I think that we, my thought is, we want it to look as nice, so anything that we can do in web page format, I say we do it unless it's like something that's technical where it makes sense to be, um, you know, just pointing to a to a, a Git document or something like that, just because I think it looks nicer and more together. Okay, where is the very latest version of it? I think that of... is it, because I don't think anyone made any changes. Nobody requested any change. It was just the yeah, email. I mean, yeah. So just adding Diane's email to it, that's all you need to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I shall pull it out of the, the docs and add it to... Um, to our site, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, if you do, if you do that, I don't, I think, and you can merge a pull request. So, yeah, we had one person pointed out to me on um, Twitter, um, who is actually a red hatter in Australia. Um, so I wanted to reach out to her and have a conversation, and then try and pull her into the docs because she's a <laughs> person. So, there you go, Debbie. If you're watching this, this is why. All right. Well, let's not work during. Let's uh, Brian go ahead and keep working. Let's move on to the next uh, thing. Yep. So, um, operator catalog. Let's start filling in details in Christian's issue for uh, any Red Hat uh, operators we may be interested in seeing. Um, you know, um, I think if we we let them know what we're looking for, then we might end up seeing it. Right. I'm optimistic. So nothing new on that one. Um, reworking the OKD base repository. So let's just start making PRs. Um, Brian, you and I can just start doing PRs because it sounds like we've that's what Vadim wants. So um, okay. we'll just start well, making PRs for what we want to remove. Okay. Yeah. What is the timeline to move? I don't know. We didn't really. We didn't really say anything about a timeline to get that torn down, basically. Well, no, I'm just thinking, is it best to do it there, where we've got to effectively bug Vadim, or if we're going to set up the new org imminently, mm -hmm. is that something we, we could, could, could just do, like, well, he wants us it to do P, He wants us okay. to do PRs on it um, because he wants um, 
uh, what's Cl- Clayton um, Coleman? Coleman, that's it. Clayton Coleman to uh, to look at stuff before uh, we make any changes in terms of that. Yep. So I, even if it's sort of duplicate work, yeah, let's put in PRs on the OKD um, repo for what we want to change there, and then well. Well, I, I, I think we're, effectively what we agreed is we're going to remove everything from there and all the new content's going to go into okd.io. So any technical document we want to persist, we're not yeah. going to actually change it there. We're going to delete it there and add it to the okd.io because the agreement was that that should not contain any documentation. Right, but that stuff should on that, read- right, but on the stuff on that readme, Anything that we want to change on that readme, my sense is Vadim wants us to like, it, you know, because we do want to clean up the readme, right? I think that's what we were saying is we do want to clean that up and make it a little more concise readme, right? Yeah, but all that readme is going to do is point to the OKD. Any useful information from that readme is going to get removed and put right. into the OKD. I, and I understand, but I think Vadim wants to sign off on that and he wants Clayton to sign off on that. I think Clayton was the original creator of the repo a bazillion years ago. Mm-hmm. And I think that's out of, just out of respect, they want it to make sure that folks are aware of like what we're doing. So. Okay. So, so you don't know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're going to remove links and just copy those that are new. Looking. Yeah. But, but I guess what I'm trying to say, wouldn't it be better for him to sign off on the new stuff that we're going to add to okd.io? Because we what's add him as a, but we would have to add him as a user to that repo. Yeah, right? he, okay. he's not signing off on the content. He's signing off on the move of the location. So we can continue right. to create content in the old location until we get him, until Vadim corners him okay. somewhere and gets permission to move the location. So Clayton isn't pretty much ever signing off on what we do in terms of technical documentation. He's okay. just the, the Uber... Um, architect for the repo um, for all of OpenShift. So, um, okay. Okay. Um, no, it's a it's slightly different variation on a theme of approvals, but yeah. And then okay. that way we're covering ourselves um, for having made the move that it doesn't affect any CI, CD, or engineering build processes that um, we might have not heard about. I think Vadim has us covered, so I'm pretty sure we're just going. It's just okay. going to be a, uh, a checkbox, but it's hard to corner Clayton. Trust me. Okay. Um, okay. I, it does seem, you know, it's it's. Process. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm. I just want to make sure I understand what we're doing. Um, yeah. Are we gonna sort of triage the content in the OKD.io? in terms of how we want it to look in the new location and get agreement in the old location? I, or... I think so, because why copy okay. stuff over? I, I, to me, it doesn't make sense to copy everything over because ultimately I think only a fraction of that is going to be need to be moved over, maybe. Yeah, I, I agree, but I actually think it's going to be split up. I think there's that readme covers a multitude of topics and mm-hmm. as we move it over, we want to actually expand it and also sure. separate it into areas of of concern almost. So the idea of how the build is structured is different to one of the other right. sections, which is different to another section. So we wouldn't be moving it over as a, as a single document, as a single readme document. That was going to get split up across multiple technical pages and then expand it as we learn more and we, we understand where we're going. Yeah, Brian? Well, I kind of view this as your uh, your thing. So if you, if you, if you want to start on that, then, um, you know, I, Sorry, I Bruce, think, do, you want, um, do, you want, do you want to come in while we're having a discussion? Yeah, no, uh, what I was going to say is, uh, uh, it's easier to split things up than to add things. Um, so it, it would probably be a good organization to first break it into separate docs, each single themed, and, and then uh, 
you know, we can work on getting them expanded. Yeah. Rather than expanding and then breaking afterwards. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, the other thing that will need to be done is that we need to start um, adding folks over to the OKD project, which actually I need to invite you. So I'll take that as a task is start inviting you to the, inviting folks to the OKD project repo um, so that they actually have access. Because right now I think it's just Vadim, Christian, myself, uh, and Timothy. <laughs> So let's let me get more people added in there so that we can actually start this process. And uh, anything else about this moving forward? So I guess just start doing your magic, Brian and Bruce and everybody. Yeah, I, I guess the other thing is to actually that I don't think we captured here that to close out the community repo in the old location where there's those five documents and merge okay. them into the okd.io. That, that was the other thing that we discussed, I think, in the Yeah, I think it's ready to go if you, wanna, if you wanna go ahead and do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. Okay. Diane, you're, you're cool with that? Moving that stuff out of the community repo and discontinuing it? Okay, great. All right, let's add that for, uh, Brian, you're gonna have a bunch of tasks here, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So um, move community docs out of the repo, Brian. Yeah, okay. I'll be getting some work done on the house, so I've been a bit sort of distracted the last few couple of weeks. So that should all be finished next week. So I'll be back on. Back on point. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. you did lots of works. So and you're you're pretty much the the web lead here. So when do you get you a title like that? Like OKD web lead or something. Yeah. What whatever helps you in your career, we'll call it that. How's that? <laughs> yeah, web exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No more webmasters. Um right. so so uh yeah. And if if we want to stylize, um I still I keep saying this, I still have Brandon um from Marketing Matters um on contract if we want to try and work with him to make it prettier or whatever. So yeah, as I said, I am I am no UX designer, so any I mean we we took on board and got the um accessibility contrast passed. But if he has any ideas, um yeah. would you be tell him. would you be willing to meet with him and I? Um oh, certainly. Okay, certainly. so let me let me see. I usually have a call with him every Thursday, um I think eleven PM, eleven AM my time. So let me see if I can does that that specific time, so. Oh, four, five, six. Eight. No, that's a bit late for me. Where Where are you based again? I'm in the UK, so eight mm -hmm. hours in front. Let me see if I can find an earlier time this week, and because um, I, I I have a, a a budget that I need to use up, and he's the he's the object of it, so. Okay. Let's get that code of conduct and then make everything pretty. Yep. Get some SEO and tons of people come into the site. Okay, so next up is uh, there's a security. Uh, we just need to add that same email address, I guess, um, for the security liaison request, and then that's ready to publish. Brian, you can do that as a um, as a blog post, maybe, and then we'll tweet out the blog post. Does that sound like the right path forward for that? Because there's a little bit more than will fit in a tweet, so. I thought we had a volunteer for that. Oh, that's right, someone somebody, did volunteer. That someone was, um, said, Mohammed. Mohammed, that's right. Mohammed. Yeah. Okay. So that we don't need to do that anymore. That's right. Take that we'll, off the list. As we'll, you can we'll, tell, I've been uh, I've been pushing a project to production the past couple of weeks, and so I have not been. Well, I, I think what all. what we need to do is that we need to actually put that on actually on the website that we do have this function, and right. maybe get Mohammed to actually write this a, a, a page. 
where it sort of explains what it's about and and how how to raise security issues or how to get security information. So I think that would be a useful page on the site. Um, and maybe we can ask Mohammed to actually do that as his first mm -hmm. official task. Yeah. So it's easier to give people jobs when they're not here, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he sent me a, a LinkedIn request and I completely spaced it. I accepted that and I think that's the only way I have to contact him. I'll have to see if he's on Slack or where he is. Um, okay, so get a write up from Mohammed. Uh, issues in the repo. I haven't even looked there this week, sorry. Um, sorry, just one thing. Christian's link to the operators. Um, do we have a link to that um, issue? And also, should we be creating another subgroup or another section in the site just so we can actually get greater community add in if people want to sort of where we're going to coordinate this so people are, can't attend these meetings but they want to see what's going on should we create a page on the site where we're just actually exp do, doing the work and just let people or do it in a discussion forum or i think in the discussion forum is where it's more appropriate and we can track it better um and yeah and there will be a little movement on the operator stuff shortly um it's get, okay. getting structure is being put in place but nobody wants to get anybody's hopes up um so we're being a little slow about the dribble until some operators actually get put in the repo um so okay. but it, it is it is moving forward slowly but yeah so i think any discussion about it or requests around it um keep it if you don't mind keep it in discussions for now okay well i actually think it's an issue isn't it it's, it's, it's an issue actually... yeah let me yeah, okay. let me find it here operator yeah, wish look. list yeah. yeah that's the one there it is okay four five six yeah We are going through this agenda. I'm having some connectivity ex issues this morning so I apologize if I cut out that's all good no pull requests nope uh, so are we good to move on Brian yep okay uh, contact email addresses we sort of settled on just using the one for now and then yeah. We'll, we'll have to yeah. figure something out. I think that ultimately that's not sustainable. No, it's not. But I think that's that's all we can do for right for right now. And I think we will end up creating our own mail server for OKD.io um, somewhere because um, it it should should go to it, someone. There should, there should be two of us theoretically on that yeah. um, in case I get hit by a bus and don't get um, don't answer it. Promptly, no, win, you know, win the lottery and go off. Win the lottery. lottery. All right, I like win the lottery better. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, when I win the lottery and off to the Caribbean, where my boss is right now surfing, so of mind. So yeah. So I, I I would like to have a server set up, but I for now just have it come to me, and then I will just deal with it as they come in I looked to just so people know I Fedora has a good process for this the Ansible folks it's a case-by-case -case thing and Robin Bergeron who is the, the community lead for that for that um, project um, it goes to her and she parcels it out as as she sees fit 
but they do have uh, their own email address because they were an acquisition and they were Ansible.com before. Um, so they didn't have that problem. See, that's the short story. Okay. Uh, let's now, uh, let's see, go over the task list. Okay. Oh, there's, there's one issue that Neil raised three weeks ago um, in the OKD issues, OKD.io issues. Mm -hmm. And this is about this matrix as a new avenue for communication. Oh, right. So document new main chat avenue as the matrix. Has anybody managed to sign up there? Because I've tried a couple of times and I keep getting my email domain is not authorized to join this server. Uh, I have not yet. Um, let's put that as a task for everyone to try to join. But if it's that yeah. hard, I'm a little concerned about it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, I, did, I, uh, I haven't been successful yet. Yeah, I, I went to some generic Fedora site. Uh, so yeah. I, I guess that could count as unsuccessful. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, and, but are, are we, like, in a way, like, I've, I've sort of been aware of Matrix for a while because the, uh, you know, back back when uh, CentOS went uh, to stream, there was a, a big guffuffle in the community and uh, a bunch of people started up their own new version and they were using matrix mm -hmm. and that, that was sort of the first i heard about it but in, in a way it sounds like fragmentation i thought we were trying to we're sort of trying to move yeah. away from fragmented communications yeah I, th I, I think we have to have a, a good group of us who are actually actively using it before we turn turn our discussion away from slack um yeah i mean yeah. The, the argument neil made was that this is where all the fedora folks hang out and as Fedora is the underlying OS, if you want to pull them into OKD, this is the way that we're going to do it. But I agree with you, Bruce. I've been trying to shut down no. all the other ways, and we should have one way that doesn't require you to create an account and doesn't require you to jump through hoops. Yeah. And GitHub discussion is the place well, that I think we should we send everybody. You know, yeah. At least it's registered. And so we have it if we decide to use it. Let's get yeah. in, and my, what I said before, I think holds. Like, let's yeah. try to get in, and if you can't get in, then I think that's a problem. Let's let some other folks try, yeah. and maybe there's something we're missing, you know. But if it's a problem, then we don't need to worry about it. We haven't made it public yet, so let's not make it public yet until. Yep. But I think the other thing is, that if we do make it public, we need some commitment from people to monitor it and respond so it's not a black hole of no no one ever gets response because that then just generates the bad behavior of cross posting everywhere which again right. we're, we're trying to get rid of where everybody sort of feels they have to go six places to get an answer right we, oh, yeah, we did, absolutely we, we did manage to get the um openshift dash dev flat channel closed last yep, week i saw that uh, i saw that yeah. And so, and no, and nobody complained. Yeah, and ultimately, we get everyone using, or many people using discussions, because so much flies by in the Slack channel. Yeah. And and there's and the questions are all over the place and stuff like that. It would really be nice to have some organization, and yep. some historical stuff where we can point people to other discussions. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Okay. I think. All right. So task items are. What did I forget? Uh, let's see here. We have uh, find out uh, who is behind the LinkedIn. That's you, Diane. So when you get a chance. We, oh, behind oh. the OK, OKD LinkedIn? Is there yeah. an OKD? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, I think you were not at the last docs meeting. I think I got, yeah, I think I got yeah. volunteered. I did not see that one. Yes. <laughs> so we need to find out who's behind the OKD LinkedIn. Um, call out for YouTube content. Um, I will write something up, and Diane, we should talk about uh, the credentials for Twitter, so that yeah. um, I can tweet stuff out, or you know, or yeah. find somebody I, to make it quick. 
Yeah, we have a thing called Bitwarden, which I have to install on my machine to put um, in the software for it. And I believe yeah. you can use it too. And yeah. Vadim and I um, and you will be the three. And then mm -hmm. I got to do the same for a whole bunch of stuff. So Bitwarden is the, the key here. So. Okay. And then I need to talk to you about um, SEO stuff in terms of uh, optimizations for um, getting, uh, you know, traction in that regard. Uh, yeah, I think that just on that note, the yeah. conversation that Bre that Brandon that we have with Brandon about revamping the site, he's also very good at getting SEO um, awareness on on websites, like little tags that you have to put on each of the pages and things like that. So maybe we can combine the um, upgrade the look and feel with some SEO stuff, Brian, when we have the conversation yep. with Brandon. Because I want to, I want him to pay. Get, I need an excuse to pay him out, and, um, go. and he's find very. Con yeah, find contact person slash address for the um, COC, which is the the. Uh, Code of we did that. Yeah, it's me. Right. It's me, yeah. and then we're going to use I, I, Brian. I sent you this string, I think, I believe, to use the mail to, or did I just send it yes. to James? Yes, that went to Slack. Yes, yes, I, I got that in Slack. Um, what was what's the one above that? The one above that. What? Create list of links to our peer. To add a book to provide links into community documentation is is that the org that we have? That's just the old one. To... Are you? I think you're on the old. Oh, am I week list. behind? Am I am I week behind? Okay, sorry, yes, I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one's done. Yeah. Um, let's see. Add machine OS repo discussion to the main meeting. I will do that uh, for the next main meeting. Um, move community docs out of the community repo, Brian. Add users to OKD project repo, Jamie. And try registering with Matrix, everybody. Right? Did I miss anything? Yeah, I need to put the code of conduct in for me. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Do you have the link to the the um, OKD LinkedIn thing that you somebody want wanted me to do? I, I'm going on LinkedIn and not seeing anything that says OKD. So if you have the link to that, uh, let me see here. Someone linked it to us in the last meeting, and I, I for some reason we didn't. I'm just searching, not finding anything. So. Oh yeah, here we go. I got it. Threat of Diane doing it just got them to take it. Okay, good. Thanks. There in the chat. <coughs> London, England. Apparently, uh, we are based in London, England. Yeah, I'm having. And we have three employees. Milan Chavda, LinkedIn member, and SR from the United Kingdom. All right, I'm 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 having um, network issues. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. It just popped up. Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, let us know at the next meeting. Cool. All right. All right, folks, I'll see you at the main meeting or in two weeks at the next docs meeting. Anyhow. Okay. Bye. Great. Cheers.